The Pringles can was a brilliant invention. It helps prevent the chips from breaking and keeps them fresh. But getting chips from the bottom of the can is inconvenient. The opening is pretty narrow and you usually get your hand covered in the flavor powder that builds up on the inside walls of the can. So I came up with a modification to this design that makes it a little more convenient. The chips sit on an adjustable platform that is raised by pulling a pair of strings attached to the lid. As you eat, just pull on the lid and it brings the next set of chips up to the top. To make this mod you'll need the following items. Sheet metal, I just use a dollar store baking sheet, needle nose pliers, tin snips, a sharpie, and some dental floss. Start by cutting out a 5 inch diameter circle from your sheet metal. Then draw a 2.5 inch diameter circle inside the cutout. The area inside the inner circle will be the chip platform. The outer portion will be used to make the supports. Next, cut slots in the outer portion of the plate. Using the needle nose pliers, bend the metal strips down a little bit less than 90 degrees. They should be flared out to be a little bit wider than the can. The friction from these teeth pressing on the side of the can will be what holds the platform in place. But in a commercial version of this design, the platform would probably be made out of molded plastic. Using the ends of the tin snips or another sharp object, punch two small holes in opposite sides of the plastic lid. Then cut off a two foot piece of floss and thread the floss through these holes. Tie the ends together and feed the loop through the teeth of the metal platform. Insert the metal platform into the can and slide it to the bottom. If the metal teeth get stuck, just twist the platform clockwise and it should come loose. Then just put the chips back in the can and enjoy. This design may not be very practical, but it is a fun project. If you can think of any other products that are annoying or inconvenient, leave a comment and I'll choose some of them to improve in a later project. Thanks for watching.